Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Welcome back to the Six Here on Jet. As we start you out of the Bay for a lot of shake to our Dias Auto and Truck camera from the Sheraton over to the Bicentennial Tower at dusk. And in Warren, a little less wind on our quick fill camera. This, of course, the Flatiron Building with uh, all the clocks on the clock tower there. That is just so cool. Well, this is the way it was a week ago, thanks to one of my former students who was just doing a little canoeing out there by the peninsula. So what we've got going on uh, is obviously the pattern change that we talked about happening uh, right around Valentine's Day. Now, there's not a lot of precipitation on radar, but upstream it's colder. So whatever moisture's around, uh, temperatures are going to dive below freezing tonight. There could be some light snow showers, so watch out for uh, slippery spots on untreated surfaces later tonight. Wind advisories extended to 1 in the uh, morning for all the lakeshore counties, including uh, Warren and McKean counties uh, just to the south of Chautauqua. So right now the steady winds are about 13 to 24. We have had some gusts, especially closer to the lake in the 40s, and you'll have that you know, to start out. But gradually, these wind gusts are going to be coming down. And as we go through tomorrow, it'll still be brisk, but it won't be as windy. Precipitation, again, has taken a break, but you see these spitty, spotty, light snow showers and flurries kind of come off the lake. But tomorrow's mainly dry, other than some flurries. And, but instead of being, you know, in the 40s, you're going to be in the 30s. Saturday's going to be cold. We might not make it to 30. And at night, we'll get a little shot of lake effect into Sunday, and then that'll go away, and we'll start another warming trend. So today we hit 41 after a cold start of 21, and if you're keeping track of snowfall, just another trace today, we're still at 21.5, and even if the snow somehow just ended now, this would not be the least snowiest winter on record. And we're going to get a little bit more, uh, not only later tonight, but especially as we go tomorrow night and on into Saturday. But this freeze-thaw cycle is in effect until next weekend. Temperatures right now, 35 Dewittville, 36 at Barron, as well as Niagara Pier, 36 in Union City down south. Espyville at 35, Sagertown and Crossingville at 37, 36 in New Richmond, 36 in Warren, and over in Ludlow, 34 degrees. So what's going on? We got a little bit of a shot of colder air. We're talking about the freeze-thaw cycle. That's what's coming in over the weekend. And then you got milder air to the west. So that's what's coming in next week. So we get a few light snow showers and flurries later tonight, but it's just brisk and colder tomorrow. Not much going on. And then tomorrow night, we start to see a little bit of lake effect snow. So you may pick up one to three into Saturday, but, uh, you know, we uh, don't expect a huge amount. Rain to snow showers tonight along the lake shore, still blustery and cold, no significant accumulations, but lows by morning, 26 to 30. If you're south of 90 inland, Corey and Titusville and Franklin, we transition to light snow showers, coated to an inch by morning, 21 to 25. And similarly, if you're in the mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, we go to some snow showers, possibly up to an inch, but you're down to 20 to 24. And you're not getting up much above freezing tomorrow. Brisk, mainly cloudy and colder, a few flurries. Uh, tomorrow night, late, there's that little shot coming back in. That goes into Saturday, tapers off. A few flurries Sunday. Nice President's Day. We get above freezing with sun. Even warmer on Tuesday, and, and there's your thaw cycle, Wednesday, Thursday, some showers by Wednesday night into Thursday, temperatures 45 to 50, but they will be dropping going back into the freeze cycle as you head into next weekend. Check out the seven-day and many more other weather features on the Your Here to Go app.